This week, the New England Patriots are home in Foxborough to play their Eastern Division rivals, the Miami Dolphins. If Buffalo loses to Baltimore, a win would put the Patriots in a first-place tie, and history is on their side. They've won four of the last five games against Miami at Schaefer Stadium. Last week against New York, the Patriots logged five quarterback sacks. Defensive end Julius Adams, number 85, still going strong in his ninth pro season, notched one of the sacks by reading New York's blocking keys correctly, thus producing an unobstructed path to the Jets' Richard Todd. Also in pursuit was Rod Schott, number 56, a linebacker with a kind of outside speed the Dolphins may have trouble with. Patriot defense welcomed back another race last week. Number 40, Mike Haynes, making his first start since ending a long contract holdout. Set a club record by returning this block field goal for 65 yards and a touchdown. The defense and special teams played major roles against the Jets, as did the offense. The Patriots entered the game with a number two attack in the AFC, and both New England quarterbacks did little to tarnish that ranking. Backup Matt Cavanaugh and starter Steve Grogan both moved the team effectively. Before leaving the game with a knee injury, Grogan gave the Patriots a comfortable lead with help from receivers like running back Chuck Foreman, number 22. Cavanaugh then stepped in and promptly threw a score to number 29, Harold Jackson. With this demonstration, the Patriots showed they have two quarterbacks who can take full advantage of New England's marvelous stable of receivers, like Jackson, Russ Francis, and Stanley Morgan. 